Well, the summer temperatures are on the rise, and with them come the dangers of hot cars. Every year, about 37 children die after being left in hot cars. That's one child every nine days. And now lawmakers just reintroduced a bipartisan bill that would require cars be equipped with a child safety alert system. Here with how we can prevent these tragedies is Sue. How do I say your last name, Sue? Oriema. Oriema. Nice to see you this morning. She is the vice president of kidsandcars.org. Nice to see you, Sue. Welcome nice back to, to the you. show. Thank you. All right. So there's some tips and ideas and reminders that we can create so we don't have this happen to us. Right. Well, in over half of the cases, children are left behind unknowingly. It's hard to believe, but it's that autopilot part of our brain that kicks in and allows a parent to think they may have dropped off the daycare already and continue on to work. So we so want to talk about tips to prevent. That. So some of the tips, and if you don't have obviously one of these cars that has some of the safety alerts, I mean that you know now a lot of the new cars are equipped with they'll kick air conditioning on if they sense weight in the back seat, right? Right. right. But if you don't have that, you've got to do some things to help yourself. If you don't have that, we want parents and caregivers to take a couple of simple steps to make sure it doesn't happen. So you're going to work, you have your handbag or your briefcase, so you want to put that in the back seat so that every time you arrive at your destination, even if you don't drive to daycare every day. You're putting that handbag back there so you'll look before you lock the car. Another well, idea is a, a stuffed animal? Yeah, keeping a stuffed animal in the car seat. It sounds kind of simple and silly, but if you keep this animal in the car seat, when you put the baby into the car seat, you take the stuffed animal out and you put the animal in the front seat. And that way, when you arrive at your destination, you have a visual reminder that the baby's in the back seat still. Great. What else can we do? These are some great want to make sure that you have a call in system with your daycare provider so that if your child doesn't arrive at the expected time, they call you to make sure that something hasn't happened, like the child's been left behind. And then, of course, a last resort. We have a safe light. Uh, it was kind enough to provide us with this car. Mm -hmm. If you have to resort to the last thing, which is you see, you know, breaking through this window, how do you do that and why would you do that? Right, because we have a couple of other scenarios where either a parent thinks it's okay to leave a child alone in a vehicle for just a few minutes or the children have gotten in on their own and can't get out. If a child goes missing, always make sure to look in a car and in bodies of water. But say you're a passerby, you're in a parking lot, and you see a child or even a pet, and they look like they're in distress in the back, they're unattended. First thing, you want to call 911. Absolutely get the authorities on scene. But if you feel like you can't wait, you can break a window. And in how many, much time does it take for someone, something bad to happen? Well, within the first 10 minutes, the car can be well over 110 degrees. So I'd call 911, but I got to tell you, I'd be grabbing something to break this car, the window, as quickly as I can. What can you use to break a window? So, well, um, we have a tool called the Rescue Me tool. It's a window punch tool. It can go on your keychain. Great thing to have in your bag. It also can actually break the window from the inside out if you're ever trapped in your car. All right, give us, show it. I'm going to okay. put on some safety glasses so here. If you're using this, if you don't have safety glasses like we do, you can use a pair of sunglasses or just your regular glasses. Cover your hands if you don't have gloves like we do today. Um, you could grab a t shirt or a scarf or any other article of clothing right. so that your hands are covered. Good, good. All right, you always want to go to the window that is farthest away from the baby. Okay. And you're going to use this punch tool and go towards the corner of the window, which okay. is the weakest part of the window. And you just press on that. Wow. And there you go. Remove the rest of the glass and get that baby out of the car. Well, good thing we've got Safe Flight here. They can come keep replacing this glass all morning for us. <laughs> thanks. thanks so much, Sue. I appreciate thanks. it. Thanks for Great having tips. me.